Well, it's a beautiful late fall day and uh, lucky enough to be riding the new Da Vinci Spartan with a split pivot, high pivot, all the pivots. This is like a big trail bike. It's got that big Fox 38 on the front with a grip one. You know this thing means business. This thing's got a pretty crazy design. Kind of looks like it's from the future with all the little frame details and all those pivot points, chain running all over. It's a cool looking bike. It's a pretty solid climber, uh, despite having the drag of, you know, double down max grip tires and the weight of a 38 fork, DHX2 in the rear. Definitely can get you to the top of the mountain it's a little bit more effort than bikes, you know, that are a little bit lighter. Very, very supple rear suspension. Linkage and shock tuning. This thing generates quite a bit of traction while climbing and descending. And, uh, you know, it puts your butt in a fairly good position despite having a pretty short 430 millimeter chainstay, you don't have to work all that hard to keep the front end down. It's got a little over a 76 degree seat angle, and it's got the kind of geometry numbers you might expect from this category. Got a 485 reach on this large, 64 and a half degree head tube angle, and uh, they vary the chainstay by size. So if you're medium or under, you get an even more snappy 425 millimeter chainstay. This thing definitely falls in that category of like, takes a few more watts to get you to the top. Thankfully, it's a very comfortable position and it's not too cumbersome around like tight switchbacks. It's kind of interesting, like the steeper the climb gets, the more I notice the extra drag of this bike's weight and tires and extra pulleys. It's like on the more low angle stuff, it's like I almost feel like I don't even notice it. And then once it gets to like a 10 plus degree grade, it's like, whew, okay, yep. Definitely feeling this thing. Very uh, playful for being a bigger bike. All right, time for the good part. It's real windy up here, so I think we're gonna have a real dry trail today. Oh man, gosh, this bike is so soft, so plush. God, that is unreal. Such a nice, intuitive, like, reach too. And then that snappier, more small chainstay. It's just so good. Man, quite a bit of grip out of that front tire. A lot of these new bikes have been coming with that max grip double down tire. And it is definitely something special as far as just how much grip it keeps in store. It's a pretty, uh, like chunky solid feeling rear end too with just the fact that there's so many like pivots and things going on back there it's very like trustworthy feeling rear end oh man i'm just connecting with this bike today these couple turns at the top of this trail are a little tighter so a lot of those 170 bikes get a little choked up in this part and this bike just quite a bit more nimble my god like that the tuning on that rear shock and this grip fork is just really plush it's like some of the fox stuff can be a little too firm on the compression for me and man these feel good oh and the tires just are not moving today they're just gripping it doesn't hurt that it's like absolutely prime 
more dry dirt conditions today. I got a little scare riding the wet this week. Lost some of my skill set. Back to that rear end. This thing really dives into that travel so nicely. And uh, I was able to get that rebound nice and fast. So it popped quite well. And it's crazy, it just has this feeling of like a very manageable frame geometry while still totally giving you that big bike, just chew through it kind of nature. But this bike is just quite a bit more agile than what I've been used to out of the 170 category. Certainly some bikes have been really good, but this bike is quite special. Then again, I do usually have a good time on these shorter chainstay bikes. Wow, I'm just like really having a good time pushing, pulling, pumping, just getting this thing around corners. Just grabbed a fistful of that code RSC. Had plenty of ability to slow me down, especially when you got that lovely tire on the front. And listen to just how quiet this bike is. I'm quite stoked on that. Minimal clunking. Kind of have to fight those chain guides while you're climbing, but when it's time to descend, very, very impressively quiet. The Spartan is kind of fascinating because usually I kind of, you know, some bikes are, uh, like you can totally just hang on and make it through anything. And then some bikes are much more agile and you gotta like really push your weight around on the bike to get the most out of them. And I'd say this bike could be written like, you could totally just hang on and make it through stuff with all that travel, but you also get quite a bit of benefit out of changing where your hip position is throughout a corner and uh, also just gives you like a big pocket and ability to move your weight around the bike to uh, yeah just kind of get the most out of it. Gotta say like as the wet season has descended on the northwest I've uh, definitely been feeling a little bit like Bambi lately and just like a dry trail with this machine today is really bringing the confidence I lost back quite quickly. Man, what an amazing trail condition. It was just like so wet the other day. Woo! Yes. Oh man, I just feel like I can be all over this big bike and it really just kind of listens to me and, you know, does my bidding, which is pretty fun on like a 170 big old bike. Man, that double down tire just like really, between that and that Fox Fork, I just feel like it's killing a lot of that trail vibration today. Not too hard to like, I'm having a pretty easy time like preloading this bike into and out of features for how kind of like agile and poppy for being such a big bike. And you know, it's not incredibly lightweight either, but man, feeling very good. It's kind of funny. This is like the second high pivot bike I've done. And I actually can't, to be honest with you, tell a massive difference about like this, these linkages in general. Like they're very soft, they're very plush. I can't really separate, you know, like the different linkages and what that high pivot's doing for me. But I will say this bike is incredibly plush, feels very much like a downhill rear suspension system where it just feels like you got a lot of travel. It gets right deep into it easily. And uh, also this bike just feels like the materials back there in the rear end are just very solid, which is always a huge confidence booster for me. Like if, uh, you know, frames get a little flexy, that's something that makes me kind of want to 
hold back a little bit and like be a little bit more careful throughout a corner or like not want to whip out that rear end quite so much but this one's real solid lovely man what conditions and what a bike today ah it's just such a treat i didn't think i'd get this to line up so who would i recommend this bike for definitely safe for like a rider who wants an all-around big bike that they're not afraid to pedal you know up it's a bit of a hog but and also people who shuttle or ride bike parks that just want a bike that can be a trail bike but gives you a lot of that downhill bike kind of performance just uh really uh more nimble like 170 bike which i think makes this thing really special so if you liked the review consider subscribing to the youtube channel and for the full write-up head on over to freehubmag.com